It's very interesting. So I've had multiple conversations with uh, people regarding um, this transitional state that we find ourselves in. And it's like this, the transition between sort of analog uh, systems for processing information to digital systems of processing information. And I think that's a reasonable way to look at it. For sure. Yeah, I mean, we were talking before you started rolling tape about the the podcast that I do with with Jesse and Charles, Access of Easy, and and how the the concept we capture it with is we're living through one of those ages of transition. This is similar to 500 years ago when the locus of power was the church, and then that moved into the nation state, and now we were moving from what you know, what we call the nation state into what we call the network state. Now, we didn't invent that term, but I've been noticing uh, that term is coming at me from numerous different podcasts and, and essays and that sort of thing. And so that's the new configuration of power. And it's still up for grabs what that's going to be. It could be something decentralized being powered by things like Bitcoin and Ethereum and DeFi. And Charles has this conceptual idea for something he calls community labor integrated money economy. I got it right, CLIM. Mm -hmm. So those are examples of, of possibly decentralized network states, or it could be something like Facebook or Google. And that might be a little bit of come meet the new boss, a lot like the old boss. No, I, I, that's Charles Hugh Smith for anybody who I believe who's uh, paying attention because he, he has his own blog, which I find uh, very interesting as well. Yeah, he's of two minds .com. Wonderful. And and uh, Jesse Hirsch, who's the other co-host is metaviews.ca. Very good. And so so you said it was community labor income economy. Community labor integrated <laughs> money economy. So <laughs> Charles's idea is that rather than money being created by the Fed from a central bank that benefits the people who are closest to the monetary spigot. He, he thinks that there's a, a system that can be created where money gets created out of actual useful and required labor that's done within a community. So somebody needs some kind of work done on their yard or their car or tutoring for their kids. And, and he has the whole system worked out and he talks about it in his books where uh, it, it, you know, you put out almost a little RFP, like a mini tender and, and you get, you know, you see this on multi-sided platforms already and somebody does the work and when the work is verified, then the, the climb tokens or whatever are created and, and the person gets paid with it. It's almost, I mean, we talked about this when we first started kicking it around. I said, Charles, this is a little scary. Isn't this like modern monetary theory? Because we're both very <laughs> wary of that. And he's like, I guess it is, except what we realized is that the directionality is the opposite. With a system like Klein, the, the gauge of the economy happens right at the level where the economic transactions are happening and the money gets created as those transactions take place. Whereas from MMT, modern monetary theory, you've got a bunch of experts sitting around a whiteboard saying, we think the economy needs this much this year. And then, then they just start and, and it's, and there's no real market signaling on what's going to happen there. So that's how we at least rationalize it in our own minds while we get closer to developing a prototype and trying to get it up and running in some communities over the next few years or however this reminds me of uh, ithaca dollars for barter yeah that sounds that sound like a community uh like a local exchange currency this is right. like a local exchange currency iteration two i like it and i, I think it's um certainly is a um copyable right cut and paste kind of thing you can put it wherever you are or want to be and just figure out the design of it well, that's, that's another point that we hit on a lot on Access of Easy is the, the struggle that we think the defining struggle of our age is not a left versus right or a conservative versus liberal. In this tension between network states and nation states, we think it's protocols versus platforms. Okay. Hmm. Facebook is a platform. It's a closed box. You don't really know what's going to come out of the box because you can't see inside the box. Whereas email is a protocol. It's an open source protocol defined by a, by a 
open series of standards and anybody can read the code and anybody can program their own mail servers using their own code, whether that's open source or not. But as long as the mail servers behave according to this open formalized standard, then you can connect whatever you want to the internet and start sending email back and forth to each other. And so we think uh, a beneficial network state configuration would be one that's based on protocols. So when we think about things like Charles's climb system. We're not trying to we're not trying to design a platform like the next social media platform to disrupt Facebook. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to create a, a, a protocol design that will let anybody say, we're going to go with this model and we might use a completely different set of tools to get onto this model, but the model is going to conform to whatever open standards and protocols there are, and they may change over time, and then they'll be able to operate within their own community and then interact with each other across communities as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Best Medicine Podcast with Bradley H. Werrell, D.O. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below, either over there or over there. Also, if you're interested in a medical consultation with myself, there's also information below.